All right, everyone. So today we're learning how to do um, how to run Facebook ads um, for e-commerce step by step. All right, this is a beginner's tutorial. So even if this is your first product, this is going to work for you. And um, I'm basically we we just we just went live now on Facebook, but um, so this is a replay on how to actually do this. All right. Anyway, so when we get started, so the the main thing that I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you to do is. Um, so we're going to get started with choosing a campaign objective. So this is going to be like a step by step, um, you know, as it says in the title. Uh, so that's why I really want to show you exactly uh, what to do. So you got your product and now you want to start, you know, using Facebook ads to really promote it. So what I recommend is so what, once you start, we're going to have to choose a campaign objective. So if you don't have a Facebook ad account yet, by the way, um, I closed up the black box formula today. All right, so this was a test group of people who want to use my uh, my black box formula. So, um, so this is like a face. This is a Facebook ads course. Okay, but um, if you go on the website, there's like an email you can opt in to get in the waiting list for when they're opening up again, which is going to be um, probably in a few weeks. All right, in a few weeks, probably going to open up again. So if you want to get in that, you can get in that, and just it's just a waiting list. But um, for now, we're going to look at. You know how to run these Facebook ads for e-commerce and so yeah so you got your product right now I'm assuming you got your product this is not a niche research tutorial this is how to run ads once you have your product so you want to go to um, so you, hopefully you got an ads manager if you don't then you can just click on this drop down and click on create your account and you can do it here just click on manage ads and then you can make your account it's the easiest way to get in but uh, so once you're in, um, you're gonna have to start choosing a campaign objective. So, so the main thing that you want to do is, um, is basically build up a warm audience. So what does that mean? So this is people who've already seen your page, who've already been on your page, who've been on your website. Um, so basically, they're going to be a custom audience of people who've already seen you and heard of you before. And so the main goal is going to be to build that up. And how do you do that? You do that through um, cold traffic if you don't have a custom audience already. So uh, those of you that, that already have like custom audiences and you basically, um, so you, 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 if you've already got a custom audience, like an email list or uh, like an Excel list of like names, or like a lot of details, like leads, if you've got a whole bunch of leads, you can actually upload that and audience. So even if you don't have the um, the email, as long as you got like the name, last name, and maybe some other information, you can come in here and create a custom audience of people who basically, um, and then Facebook, what Facebook will do is it'll take all those informations that you give them. All right, so you can create a custom file. We can click on that, and then you can see here you can upload all that information. So we're just gonna include here. Uh, actually, let me go back for a second. Add customer file. There we go. So that way we can. I think I, no, I did not exit out. So here we can see that you can add a country, year of birth, age, um, postal code, city, phone number, email. All right. And what 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 Facebook will do is it'll take all this information, and then it's gonna map that information. Uh, to people who are already on Facebook Okay, so it's pretty cool. So if you've got like a thousand numbers um, What you can do is you can just upload that here and it'll create a custom audience of The profiles on Facebook that have those numbers All right, it's quite simple uh, This allows you to create custom audience straight away. So if you've already got emails phone numbers um, first names and last names uh, you know if you can combine it like postcode and all that stuff it just makes it better but just put whatever you can anyway the main goal is once you've if you can do that then do that otherwise we're just gonna have to get started with um with actually creating the ads so so obviously i don't know what kind of product you have or anything like that but um i'm just going to show you the overall strategy you can use for your particular uh, product so like i said the main goal is to create a custom audience and what I mean by that is, is to have a warm audience of people you can retarget. Because once you can once you can retarget an audience, that's when you're really gonna um, 
you know start making money and and you know you, you, that, that's when you can start scaling up and stuff so Ali, give me a one in the comments if you can hear me um just so i know but yeah so you just want to go to create campaign and i'm going to show you one of the campaign objectives um that you basically want to use um you know when you start out so this is the this is the ways the way that i kind of create my custom audiences okay and what i normally do is i will start out with traffic all right so i'll, I'll start i'll start out with traffic and then all right so you can hear me yeah so i'll start out with traffic and then this allows me to create a custom audience for people who um who, who have visited my website so you, if you pay for like a, th a thousand clicks then what you can do is you can use those um that website traffic to build an audience of people who you can who let who you later can basically retarget okay and if you remember here you can go to custom audiences and you can do that again hit through here all right so just create audience the custom one and then just click on website traffic so this is what i did for like six months straight which was just um retarget website traffic all right and the main way you want to do that is through through the traffic objective so if you go for engagement or if you go for like um video views or anything like that you're not going to get that many uh, website clicks okay so you want to be careful with which objective you go for and so here's the deal if you go if you go for traffic and you know you're actually paying a lot for traffic to, to get people to your website you know your audience value is going to be a lot higher than if you just had you know five million views of of some video because views are kind of easy to get so they're not as valuable as clicks okay or leads for example so that's why you, you want to go for like a valuable campaign objective so I almost always go with traffic and so once i've built a bunch of traffic um what i do is you know you create your custom audience after that of uh, retargeting your traffic after you have a whole bunch of people so i'm i'm thinking about 500 to a thousand people in your um audience and then what you can do is basically um you can you can retarget those people so once you have that you can start using conversions you know catalog sales and and that's it yeah you can't use store visits unless you have an actual store and so you probably you probably want to use these two on on one of these custom audiences okay so remember your goal is to um pay for this stuff so that you can use this stuff to retarget these okay it's very simple it's it's all back and forth you go from here to here back here to here again to back here to here again and that's how you make the money through facebook ads okay um it's quite it's very simple by the way um i closed up um i can't remember if i said this in the last because i had the live just before this and it completely flopped um because everything just disconnected so i don't so yeah but yeah um, I, I closed up the black box formula but those people who still want to get in if you go on the website you can basically just put your remote in and it puts you on the waiting list but yeah anyway so so like i said it's just a back and forth thing here all right you're just, you're just going to keep retargeting people and don't forget you can also retarget people with traffic so let's go into traffic for now let's take a look at it see what's like okay so we come here we got a website and we've got an option to create an offer no actually we don't have a great landing page so let me just let's just change this to link clicks uh it shouldn't be here okay actually we do have the option that's pretty cool so they've actually just started this recently because this is actually a new feature i haven't i've only recently started seeing you know being able to create offers for um traffic so usually it was only you'd only be able to like to create offers for conversion objectives but it seems like we can start creating offers here as well all right so so when you come to creating offers you usually just want to keep like a limited number of, of codes so this is how i um use my con conversion campaigns all right when i when i retarget people i use conversion so i'm talking about e-com by the way i've been doing e-commerce in like the fashion industry 
for a long time. So and I, the way I started is with traffic. I run a lot of traffic to my website and then I retarget that traffic after I build a custom audience. And then what I do is I start using conversion campaigns and um, DPAs, which is dynamic product ads to um, to basically make, make more money, right? But um, when you create your conversion campaigns, you know, you've got the option to create an offer, but you can do it here as well. So you want to mess around with this, you know, um, create offers sometimes and then other ones um, don't. Or all you can do is you can send traffic to a custom audience with an offer. So you, when you want to create one of these ads, create an offer and then use um, a custom audience of people who've, who've already been to your website. So this way you can get it cheaper than a conversion campaign. All right, so you can get it a lot cheaper than a conversion campaign if you use offers um, on a custom audience using a traffic objective instead of a uh, conversion. All right, so for those new people coming in, basically all I said was you just, um, you start, you, you build up your custom audience using traffic or actually that's, that's pretty much it really. You know, you just you use traffic to build up your cost website traffic audience. And once you have that custom audience, or you can retarget them with conversion and DPA. And you can also retarget them with traffic campaigns and creating offers inside there. All right, I hope this is not too messy because I didn't plan this at all. Actually, I completely forgot um, that I was doing this. So I had to do it impromptu now, but my, it's, not, it's not a big deal anyway. So, so once you come here, remember you want to create an offer when you retarget. At the beginning, you can carry offers, but then again, it's a cold audience. So they don't really know you. So they're like, why are you even giving me an offer? It makes absolutely no sense. So you want to be careful with, you know, giving out offers to people who've, who've never heard of you before. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. Okay. Because if you're giving out offers to everyone, and uh, it just, it gives no value to your offer. So what I recommend you do is, like I said, when you retarget, use offers and let's go to the next section when it comes to audiences so let's go in here okay all right so the main thing i'm going to say here is um you know when you know you create your audience whatever you use audience insights you know to, to you know to get an audience for your particular niche but um if you do have an, a custom audience of people who've been to your website what i'm going to say is when you create your audience you want to exclude people okay so you want to exclude people so where do we go yeah here we go exclude uh custom audiences all right because the last thing you want to do is um target the people who've already been to your website like over and over again um and thinking that you're targeting new audiences but in reality it's the same audience so you just mess up your numbers and what you think is working but reality is not even working because you're targeting the same people that you already have all right so make sure you exclude website traffic overview content all that stuff and you know especially when you when you have a custom audience and you want to get you know cold traffic all right we just got men women so that's like like i said depending on what your niche is i mean i don't know what what niche you have but um um, just create your audience and audience insights. That's all, that's all I'm going to say. So make it inside here and save it. Okay. Actually, let's go. Let's go inside there. Let's take a quick look. Creating audiences. It's going to give you a quick overview of um, a few things you can look out for when you create audiences. So we come in here. So like I said, just make your audience here, save it, and you're just gonna you can just open it in in the ads manager. Saves you a lot of time as well, because um, you know you're not just limited by this little drop down here. You know you got a whole this because this is a tool in and of itself. Okay, so you don't really have to um, you know limit yourself with what you can do. You can see here we've got page likes, location, activity, household purchase. Um, like I said, I'm not going to go too much into audiences today because 
um because I, cause I just want to show you how to do this how to use affinity scores so let's say you want to let's say i don't know let's say you want to target um robert green not robert green tony robbins so let's say you want to target tony robbins i don't know maybe you got some self-help t-shirts that you want to make because i saw quite a few people that sell t-shirts so let's say um you want to make some t-shirts for entrepreneurs and or just self-help stuff and let's say we've got tony robbins so what we can do is so in your <clears throat> sorry about that but, um in your particular niche what you can do is you can see the top categories but more importantly you can see these other pages that they are more uh, that they're related to basically so just relevant to his audience okay so let's say you're making t-shirts for I don't know hip hop or you're making t-shirts for um let's say i don't know wine or like technology people like tech people or like you're making t-shirts for i don't know anyone like like let's say it's based on ferrari let's say it's a ferrari fan based t-shirt so you just come in here like this i'm just gonna give this one tip for now so let's say ferrari all right let's let, i'm just giving an example and then when you come to page like you can see if if i ask you right now what which um pages are related to ferrari um you probably couldn't guess and if i told you how, how likely is someone who likes a ferrari page um you know likely to like another page you probably couldn't tell me as well um simply because you don't have any data so that's why you want to use facebook audience insights to actually um, pull out that data yourself okay so let's say ferrari that's you want to create t-shirts or whatever product you have for ferrari fans you can come inside here page likes and then you got this cool thing it's called affinity scores so that means how likely um your page or this page is to um to like this page so you probably couldn't have guessed that it was gearhead supercars or it was Hennessy Performance or to Toyo Tires or Jaguar. So it's pretty creative. Now you can see here, it says LED concepts. So they're 91 times more likely to like LED concepts than any other page. More likely than Nissan. All right, so in your niche, just take a look, just type in your big um, industry niche or whatever, and uh, take a look here. So you can see, we can also analyze it by categories so you can see they're also into car memes all right and you got a whole list of this stuff okay you can see relevance audience size um you know facebook and you can see here this is this is the main thing you want to look at which is affinity all right so make sure you look you look at affinity and uh, to get an idea of um what kind of audience you want to make so now if it says jaguars here um what we can do is we can we can be like all right let, let's target jaguar and boom we got a jaguar right there or any of on any of these other ones as well so if you're making a t-shirt that's like mm, so the entrepreneur they follow is rob dedek so i have no idea that let's, let's let's see who that is so you know you could target fans of this guy and say um so for interest what you could do is you could write people who like who are a fan of um a rob dedek okay and they're a fan of of ferrari i'm just giving an example if you get if you get the idea so instead of just targeting fans of of this guy okay i'm just putting my laptop on charge because it's running out of battery but instead of just targeting his fans you're better off targeting fans of him that like Ferrari and possibly so I'll show you how to do that and possibly like some of these other ones as well all right and you can do all that in ads manager or in audience insights where you can just narrow it down and basically um, you know create create these audiences so let me just go back to audience insights all right so let's see it says connections advanced right, so we got this stuff ok 
Okay, so I'm just gonna go to Ads Manager. I'm gonna show you how to actually narrow it down. So when we come here, so let's say you want to do Ferrari. That's our main interest. And then narrow audience. And I'm gonna go with this guy. What's his name again? Rob Deck. Rob. Yep, I think that's the one. Rob Deck. So now we only have people who basically like Ferrari and this guy. Okay, and this is all kinds of people. So we're just gonna go for the United States. And I'm choose men. So the audience is 460,000 people. This is quite this is quite a good audience. All right, that's quite a good audience. As for ages, you're gonna have to test out the ages to see which one works because you know a lot of old people like Ferraris, young people like Ferraris. So and so you you're gonna have to find out what kind of people buy Ferrari T-shirts or just something related. So it doesn't have to. So you don't want to use the logo or whatever. But um, you know, you can create something f like a funny kind of T-shirt that kind of has the name on it or just something related. It doesn't necessarily have to have a name on it, but so it could just be like a related T-shirt. So from here, probably, um, you know, you want to look at other stuff too, right? So we got wine spirit. We can see it. this is what they're interested in. All right. So let me just remove that for now. We can see that they're also interested in LED concepts. Uh, motor authority, the, you know, all this other cool stuff. So, yeah, so once you've actually decided which ones you want to use for your particular ad, you know, you can just create in here. Okay, and you can just save the audience and then you can open it up once you're in here. So the next step I'm going to show you is, and by the way, when you come, when you want to create the ad itself, all you really have to do is um, just go to Canva and just make it in there. All right, so Canva. I'll show you some of my YouTube thumbnails I've made in there. In fact, I'll make all my stuff in there, even though it's all cloud-based, which means, um, you know, if they go down, then I, can't, I, I basically can't get any access to any of my stuff. All right, so let's just go in here. And my thing is pretty slow. All right, so we're gonna go in here. So this is connection types. So obviously you can you can add people who people who like your page, friends of people. But I'm just gonna leave that out for now. So yeah, so like I said, when it comes to audiences, uh, make sure you you know you, you test out different ages because um, you know different people like different stuff. So there's no point assuming until you've tested it out. I also heard this person say that um, you know all the people they scroll through your stuff like a lot slower so in that sense you know they scroll through facebook a lot slower than um younger people so you know you might be able to target all the people with this all right it's quite interesting uh, even though most people think you know it's only between 18 and 35 that buy yeah but then what about 30 to 65 still people there so still people you can target so we've got the placements, obviously we've got a whole bunch of placements you can use. So you probably want to you know, test out Facebook, Instagram, Messenger and audience. But um, like I said, but first when you start out, just use all of them. So just use automatic when you start out. And then as you build, as you build a bigger custom audience, um, you can basically just um, start testing them out a bit by bit. All right. And then we got the budget, okay, link clicks, uh, bidding. So yeah, I'm not gonna go too much into bidding stuff because that's just um, that's just gonna get very long. But and like I said, look, Cam, here's Canva, right? This is like where I create my ads. This is my recent videos. Um, like I said, yeah, this is the black box formula, okay. And like I said, I closed it today, so there was a test group of people. I've closed it. If you want, if you want to get in. All you have to do is go on a website. And you, there's a waiting list for like an email waiting list. So if you're in, if you're interested, but this is for Facebook ads, by the way. And you can just put your email in for a waiting list for when we open up back again, which is been which is going to be like in a few weeks. So we're going to open again in a few weeks. So this is kind of what I create my ads. 
um, lashing by thumbnails, but you can create ads as well. So you've got Facebook posts, so it's pretty, pretty cool. You've got Instagram posts. Well, we've got a bunch of other ones as well. So Facebook app, we've got Pinterest, Twitter. There's stuff you can make on here. I'm just going to exit out of that. And yeah, so the next step is actually making the ad itself. So you can see you can use existing posts or create a new one. And so yeah, so when it comes to the traffic objective, um, you probably want to use like the learn more or shop now. So I'm, I normally just go for shop now. Um, sometimes go for learn more sometimes use no button but keep in mind if you're on instagram um any ad you're on instagram um it's always gonna have a button and by the way, i've seen a lot of people they run these messenger ads on instagram but whenever i click on them it doesn't actually work so you're wasting a lot of money there so i'm not gonna recommend running messenger ads on instagram like it just doesn't work all right it literally doesn't work um, I've seen a bunch of ads. I would click on send message, you know, in the actual ad itself. I would click on the button and it would open up my messenger app, but it doesn't open up any conversation. So that's a ton of money wasted for those people who are running those ads. So um, if you're thinking about messenger ad, you probably um, don't want to do that. Okay. Just leave our messenger ad. You got traffic. So you've got traffic here. Yeah? So. I'm just gonna go to single image because um, you know how it is. I'm just gonna stick with the single image for now. So these are my, my main two ad types, which is carousel, single image, and also use canvas uh, sometimes too. As for slideshow, I know I know a lot of people use slideshow. Um, uh, you can actually make this in here. Okay, you can actually make slideshows inside of Facebook ads if you didn't know. So if you can't afford like videos and stuff, you can create a slideshow here. And just you can get, you can get like a 10 second video. I mean I see all these websites are charging you for like just to make these basic as slideshows. You just come in here, you can make one. Um I know a lot of you you know might find this useful. So you can do that. And then once you actually come in here. All right, so like I said, for Instagram, you, do, you don't want to drive traffic to Messenger. Um, it's very buggy. Uh, like I said, I tried it so many times. Um, other people's ads, I would click on them, and it does not take me to Messenger at all. Well, it does take me there, but it doesn't open up the conversation, which is the whole point of you know, the Messenger um, ad. And, and yeah, so you as for you like, so let's just come in here. I'm just going to add an image to show you kind of what to do once you're creating the ad all right so if you remember if you're coming in late so step one is choosing your campaign objective all right and that's usually going to be traffic because you want to create a custom audience that you can later use conversion objectives and dpas which is dynamic product ads to retarget those people so you want to use the first object objective just traffic usually or you know leads all that stuff to get people to your website and then create custom audience and then retarget all right that's the formula i use for all my stores for um that's what i've been doing for the past year or so for uh, um for, for basically fashion okay so let's go to the next step and uh, that is let's see so yeah we're just gonna add an image in I'm just going to use a stock image for now because I have some weird images I think in my library. I'm just going to use that. Let's give short stock some promotion. Why not? Alright, so come use an Instagram. Well, we're not going to use Instagram now anyway. Um, so I come in here, you can see it looks decent. And so, yeah, so just remember when you're creating your headlines and text, try to be like you know, actually fill them up in a like professional way. Okay, instead of writing like, all right, here's, here's how most people write the, the headlines. 100, 150% off today only. You get free shipping right now. 
that's what most people do right let's get us some free shipping right now because why not this seems to be the only way to target these people and get them to buy our stuff so what do we do we just offer 200 percent off shipping today um get free shipping uh free product too um just cover 49 dollar um three thousand dollar shipping fee shipping and handling okay so that, that's how you create an ad and uh, you'll probably get like a lot of clicks hopefully so you can actually preview this um, and you can basically start running ads to 1000% um, off today you can get free shipping with it now and um, it's gonna be a free product so all you have to do is cover the the big shipping fee all right so it's a free product though so we're talking free plus shipping and just cover the so free product just cover the shipping and handling cost but no i'm messing all right but you get the idea most people actually do this so that's the last thing i want to do okay so i'm just gonna exit out of that so, so yeah like i said look when you create the headline you just try and keep it clean and professional all right so what do i mean by that um so how about for once actually so maybe ask a question or right, actually like think about writing headlines so you, so the way to do that is you're gonna have to start learning about copywriting right to actually write these cool headlines uh so the main way you want to do that is actually understand your product so whatever your product is you're gonna have to understand like a lot about it for you to be able to create a good headline all right so let's say your product is you know whatever tennis i don't know anything about tennis but um uh, last thing you want to do is just write all right 50 percent off your tennis ball today get free shipping um with free free tennis ball today just cover shipping and handling of 565 dollars and you'll be good to go yeah like that's the last thing you want to do and so yeah for tennis ball for tennis um gear i'll probably say okay um um I'll, I'll probably like send send it to an article so i'll probably say one I'll probably write like one with how this one technique um um increased my increase my reach so i'm going to say increase my reach i don't know anything about tennis ball but you know you know what i mean actually wait how this one way technique um how this one weird let's call it like a swivel technique swivel technique um made me win 10 games in a row without um doing x or y all right so actually you know what i'm actually giving you like a headline formula all right so this is a formula created by like russell brunson and i use this quite a bit as well so i'm gonna give you a formula you can use so here's how the formula works how to do um x uh without y so this is a um or just you can just write x and without y so if you're starting out you're thinking right how, how can i write decent decent headlines um so that's like that's one way you can write headlines how to do x without y so x would be the benefit and y is like the thing they don't want to do so if you got my um when i was selling you know when i still had the sales page up for my a black box formula um one thing i would do is basically i would say how to um yeah so my my tagline is how to run profitable facebook ads in any niche consistently without 
um, being an expert. Okay, so without is like the pain point of people. And then the X, okay, is the benefit. So how to run profitable Facebook ads. Okay, so this, that's the kind I write, I, I, I write the headlines. Anyway, I think this is dragging on a little bit. It's already got 35 minutes in. Um, give me a one in the comments um, if this was a decent, in, if this was a good tutorial. Actually, we're actually 40 minutes in. So we're actually 40, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing another one again on Thursday. So I'm doing these every Monday, I mean Tuesday and Thursday. Okay, I know a lot of people are going to see this later on. Uh, you know, because you no know, time zones, all that stuff. But, um, so yeah, so that that's why I'm going to leave the replay up. Uh, replay up, so they can watch them as well. But um, Thursday again, we might do a part two for this. Alright, how to actually make ads for e-commerce. Because it seems like a lot of people do need help with e-commerce stuff. So if you come in late, if you're coming in right now, then just watch the replay. Um, it should be up in about an hour. I'm, I'm going to end this now in about one minute. And what you can do, you can watch the replay. I covered, um, you know, how to use traffic objectives, campaign objectives, how to use offers, um, placements, a little bit, how to find an audience, some tips and audience insights, uh, custom audiences. So we did all that stuff. So if you're coming in now, just watch the replay. You can see we're already like 40 minutes in and um, yeah so yeah so this is the formula okay x without y uh you're gonna wanna basically build off of that which is pretty simple if you ask me it's not it's not too difficult to actually be able to do that let me see anyway I'm gonna end this now and for everyone that watched um, another one coming on Thursday <clears throat> see my voice already gone so I have to end this okay so I'm doing another one on Thursday and yes so stay tuned remember just by the way leave a review on my Facebook page just go to the left section leave a review uh, preferably five star review and uh, I'll reply back to you there all right, if you got a question, you can just leave it on my page somewhere. Just publish it there, and I should get back to you. Um, pre you know, pretty soon. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm excited now to um to publish this for the people who haven't seen it. So I'm gonna stop talking because my voice is just gone. And yeah, peace out.